Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Shopaholic Series. As you can see, I have a coach bag here. This is the coach kip crossbody. Uh, I'll be doing a detailed review and what can fit in this bag. If you're new to my channel, if you love such videos, then please consider subscribing. And also don't forget to like and comment on this video. So let's begin. Uh, first thing I want to show you is this tag. This is what it's called. It is a kip crossbody so if you have seen my uh, this is a leather kip turn lock crossbody if you have seen the unboxing of this bag uh, then i you would have noticed how surprised i was i mean when you see closer it looks like a big bag this is how the photo or the picture was on uh, macy's website when i bought it and i just assumed it was a little bit different style like with a flat bottom um but it was compared comparatively like the cassie but if you see I'll try to take it away see how small it is it's like my hand i think it's as much as my hand the width so i'll put the exact measurements in the description box but i just didn't pay normally i pay attention to the description how much wide or what is the height of the bag but by the look of it i thought it was a similar cassie one a little bit smaller or in between the 19 and the bigger cassie but this one i think is even smaller than the cassie 19. Uh, so let's uh, take a look into what this bag is all about uh, this one comes with a cross, uh, I'm sorry, the turn lock just like the Cassie and also comes with a top handle just like the larger Cassie, which is not there in the smaller Cassie. It comes with one detachable crossbody strap. So if I take it out, look how tiny the crossbody strap clip is. So if I take it out, it can be used as a small clutch right uh, just a small clutch but the problem is when you keep it on the table it needs some support because this is a rounded bottom it won't really stand on the table so you can't really use it like a small um, like a eva crossbody or something like that so you do need to hold it keep it down like a clutch so this is all round uh, glove tanned pebble, uh, not pebble leather. I think it's just a glove tanned leather and that's what you will see at the bottom. Uh, in the back, it does come with a flap, but it's really tiny. So we'll take a look in a moment what can fit inside it. So we go ahead and open it. It's all smooth leather throughout and it has just one compartment so now you see why i'm saying it's even smaller than the cassie 90. cassie 19 at least has three wide compartments uh, this one is just a small one and it has this teeny tiny small leather handle so let's first begin and see if my phone can fit in this kip crossbody backs flat pocket okay so first off it looks really small and this is a 6s so my 10 or 11 whichever you have won't fit in even the 6s is harder to go so if i go straight it can but there's always a danger to fall out so this is practically useless unless you want to put some receipts or something like that or you have a, a transit pass or something so I think this is all, I'm just checking if it's leather or if it's um, cloth. I think it's all leather inside. Now let's go in. So that means we have to use our middle pockets with um, to put our phone as well. So there is one small, very small a pocket here where you can put a couple of your cards. So this, they have tried to borrow a leaf from Michael Kors. Uh, that's what I like about Michael Kors. Uh, the organization is really great inside. Uh, aesthetically, they may look not as um, classy like Coach, uh, but they do have very good usability features. So there is one uh, thin pocket here as well, very small. So I'm going to try putting my phone there, which I think is not a good idea. But it does fit if I try to fit it in. But this is a 6s so anything bigger than 6s will not fit it so my 
regular font definitely won't fit so let me just leave this one there and i don't think my small wallet is a good idea but i'll still see if it fits and pretty sure my whole bunch of keys is a hard thing but you can fit in like few keys you know just take out few keys so definitely this is not feasible or not um, advisable so you can use a smaller um, card case in this and this also you can fit in your key so probably this card case with a key holder is a better idea uh, in purses like this so i can comfortably put my phone and if you have a bigger phone let's just say you can put the phone as well as your small wallet and card case um small card case with the keys here and probably you can put your lipstick let's just try I'm going to put my comb in the back small flap and I'm going to put so what will be really really essential maybe a lipstick I'm going to try and put that so in the back it can't go so you'll have to put your be careful it doesn't fall out and maybe a powder and then if I have a powder, the small pouches that you get with the powder is a better idea instead of carrying a big brush. But your brush can also fit in. And that's it. Maybe a small floss. That's about it. So it's kind of an evening purse or just a quick run to the grocery store. That's all can be the use of this. But it's really nice to hold. And doesn't feel very heavy because you can't really fill it up that much. But like I said, uh, your wallet and keys is something you have to change. Then only this is useful. Otherwise, if you use a small um, wallet, it's going to eat up the space. Otherwise, you can still fill it up like this. So hope this video has helped you um, and it will help you make a decision. And let me put the strap back. Oh, and... Uh, I've shown this in the unboxing, but this strap also comes with these metal uh, grommet kind of thing. So it gives a little bit more dressed up look to your back, to your tiny little back. And this is how you can use it. Cross body or just over this shoulder. So now that it's filled up, it kind of feels nice and cute. Um, I think it retails for around $210 or something. So if you get it for a fairly good price, 50% off, probably it's a good deal. Other than that, I don't think you, have, you should pay more than that for this bag. So uh, let me know in the comment section if you, what did you like about this bag. If you want to know, if you have any more questions about it, um, do let me know. Um, and any suggestions that you have for the video, um, Feel free, I'll be happy to answer them. Um, once again, thanks for watching and happy shopping.